Hey guys, Chris Fix here, back with part 2 of Project Nightlight. If you missed part 1, stop here and go find the link in the video description. And then when you're done watching part 1, come back and check out part 2. Right now I'm finishing up some welds I couldn't get to on my truck, so let's pick up where we left off. I started welding up end caps on everything that is opened. I need to still grind it all down, but it's just flat pieces of metal that block it off, just so that water can't get in. So all the tubing is capped off, and I did something a little bit different for the front. I made a little point here so when wind hits this, it doesn't make a howling noise. It's also, you know, deflected up and down. I don't know if that's going to really make a difference, but I just took the square tubing and I cut it like that, put it right here, tack welded it in, and then welded it up here, cut a little triangle out here, welded that up. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. But before I do that, I'm going to just finish up. We've got this little piece of metal here, capping that off. And I think all the ends, yeah, it looks like all the ends will be capped off. Then I could start grinding down all the ends. Make all the welds look nice and smooth, nice and clean, just for aesthetics. And then we'll mount up our light bar brackets right here and right on that side. And we'll test fit the light bar and then we'll paint. We're almost done. Really simple, ugly welds, just get it in place. They're all gonna be ground down anyway. And I'm gonna go cut this off right now. Woo, that melted my glove. Now let's cap off this last tube in the front. We have our angled cap. Tack weld it right up just like that. I have to grind this down a little for now just because it looks so bad that it's bothering me. Okay, so light bar is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna have to make some brackets that come out right here and right here. So here's what the bracket's gonna look like. I'm gonna weld it up right there and then I'll have two holes drilled for the light bar when we figure out where that's gonna be. So just to try to get it flat, I'm going to use this other piece of metal. And that'll make sure the mats will be level as I tack it into place. Tack it into place. Finish welding it. Okay, so we got the top welded up here. Weld up the sides. And get the bottom. And then we'll go to the other one. I finished up welding on this side. And the bracket is completely secure in place. We'll go to the other side. Check out this bracket which is also welded in place. Now we're going to go drill some holes so we can mount the light bar. But first let's put it on the truck to mark up where the holes are going to be. Okay, everything is on the truck set up so we can put our light bar on there. It looks really good. If we look at our picture, you can see we have everything done except that top bar that goes across with that little piece of metal. And that's to protect the light bar. But I want to put the light bar on and actually mount it so that we know how high we want that protector bar to be. Okay, so here's our light bar. I want to show you. So there's two bolts that go in here. So we're going to have to mark the location of these two screw holes that we want to drill and drill them on the mounts that we made. Okay, that looks awesome. Just to give you an idea of how it's mounting up. This is how the light sits on the mount. To make marks for those bolt holes, what I did was I just bent a nail and then I'm just going to scrape the metal in the hole. Just going to get in here, just scrape the metal and do the same thing for the other side. And that'll give me marks. I'll do the same thing for the other bolt holes and we'll see where those marks are and then we'll drill them out. Okay, so I used a marker so that you could actually see it on camera where we made those marks and that's where I need to drill. Here's the bolt that comes with the light. I'm going to use this size drill bit, which is a little bit bigger than the bolt. And I'll start with a smaller drill bit to start the hole. Try to get a punch in here so that the drill bit doesn't bounce around. 
So you saw I went from a punch to indent the metal to a small drill bit that'll make the first hole. And then to a large drill bit to make the large hole. So that'll fit right in there. No problem. Let's go from this side and get that side done. Okay, it's all drilled out. Let's go mount the light bar and let's weld a protector for the bar so tree branches and stuff won't hit it. There we go. Perfect. The other side fits in as well, and this is coming along beautifully. So now we're going to do the protector bar that goes over the light bar like that. We have four posts to support the bar. One goes there, one goes there, and the other two go in the back corners. And then, the top bar goes across just like that. And that'll prevent branches and stuff like that from hitting the light from above. And I'm really liking how this looks. I'm going to go tack weld this in place, but just so you get an idea of what it'll look like. So there will be a leg here, a bar coming up to the front, a leg here, and a bar going across. Same thing for the other side. So let's go weld this together. We'll remove the light bar, obviously. We don't want to weld with that in place. So we did that one. Come over here. Let's weld this one. With one side welded down, I'll weld down the other three sides. With the post welded in, I'll weld the top bar, just get it in place and pull the trigger. Now I'll weld the other side. And we'll cut off the end and smooth it out. Okay, with it all welded up, let's see how it looks. That is perfect. Look at that. Almost done. We have four more bars to weld and then we're ready for paint. Let's weld in the right rear post. Now we can weld in the top bar starting from the front and then welding the rear. I move back and forth between the front and the rear to prevent the bar from warping due to the heat from welding. Now I'll grind everything smooth so it looks good and we can move to the left side. Again, weld in that rear post completely. Lay the top bar on and weld it in the front first. Then move to the rear. And finally grind down the weld so they look good. All right, look at this. That looks awesome. This is just coming out really nice. I'm gonna just fill out the ends here, get little caps, weld them in, and then we're ready for paint. At the last minute, I decided to weld in plates right next to the light bar to make it hard to get to the light bar and the bolts on the side of the light bar. I don't want anybody stealing this, so anything to make it more difficult will help. So now that we're all done welding, I really like how everything came out. Here's a good view from the side to see my plates welded in. Let's see what it looks like with the light bar. The light bar fits nicely. You see my design really makes it difficult to get to the bolts on the side of the light, which is what I want. It also looks pretty good and goes with the flow of the design. Now let's take the light bar off and I have one more thing I want to do. Okay, one thing I want to do 
The metal post goes down into the post hole, and there's a small hole already in the bed from the factory to give me access to our metal post. What I need to do is drill a hole in each post so that we could add a bolt and bolt this whole rig down right to the truck. I'm drilling both the right side and the left side. Okay, both of those holes are drilled out to 3 8 Let's go tap them. Tapping the hole is pretty simple. Just make sure you're holding the tap square so that it goes in straight. And also, turn it slowly. You just need a little bit of pressure and it'll start to drill in there and carve out a thread for your bolt. Let's take the tap out. So now we'll verify that this fits. Good. Now let's tap the other side. Again, make sure it's nice and square. You will feel resistance to start, which means the threads are getting carved into the metal. So that's good. Now let's take the tap out and make sure the bolt fits. We'll make sure that the bolt fits. Beautiful. There we go. Now this will be securely mounted into the truck. Okay, Project Nightlight is coming along. Everything is done, all the cutting, welding, and grinding. Now we're on to painting. We're using Herculiner. It has a black textured, durable finish, which I think will look good. This is made for truck beds, so it won't scratch or chip, and it also bonds to the metal nicely. So the first thing we need to do is get some sandpaper and scuff up all the metal. You wanna make sure you use a dust mask when you're doing this so you don't breathe in all the metal dust. So we have these nice deep scratch marks in here. It's all scuffed up. Now we're gonna use some alcohol and just wipe down the whole frame. We wanna to try to get this as clean and dust free as possible. So that was just the top of the rail. We're gonna have a lot of cleaning to do. Make sure you take your time whenever you're prepping for paint. When painting, it's all about the prep work, so do it right. Last step before we paint the whole thing is to use xylene. You can get this at your local hardware store. It just makes sure that the surface is perfectly prepped for that Herculiner. Again, wipe down everything, make sure it's clean so the paint bonds nice and strong to the metal. All right, now let's open up the paint. Stir it up really good. and pour it into our container. The first step is to use a paintbrush and get all the joints where the roller can't reach. So I got all the joints. Now I'm gonna be using a roller and we'll finish the rest of this first coat. This is as easy as it looks. You just roll on the Herculiner and make sure you cover all the bare spots. Great, now we'll wait till the paint gets tacky and then we'll apply a second coat. One hour later, let's do our second coat and finish this up. I don't know how it looks on camera, but the finish looks great in real life. And now we're gonna let it dry overnight. Oh baby, look at this, 24 hours later, this is looking awesome. I'm really excited to put this on the truck. I'm gonna give you a few quick close-ups and I'm putting it on the truck, I'm just too excited. The finish looks great, feels durable, and most of all, it'll provide rust protection, which is what we need. The moment we've all been waiting for, let's see what it looks like on the truck. Well, I hope you enjoyed the build as much as I did, and I hope it was inspiring for you to get out there and make something yourself. Let me know what you think of the final product. I know I really like how it came out, 
but it'd be cool to hear what you guys think. And as always, remember to give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. The last video of the build is going to be how to wire the light bar properly, and in that video you'll get to see how Project Nightlight got its name.